Hi guys, my name is Yvonne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to show you how I created the graph for the love beanie that I just made. So I used the Microsoft Excel program. Okay. So the first thing that I did is I wanted to change the little get the little squares that you see on the graph paper. So the way I did that was by coming down here and you see these little things here in the corner on the right hand bottom corner. I just double clicked in the middle. It says, I think it says like page layout or something like that. And then now your screen is going to look like this. Then I came over here to this little rectangle up here where the letters are. There's a little rectangle here and I click that, which highlighted everything that you see on the screen. So now you're going to come back up here to the letters. I'm not clicking anything, but if you do happen to click on accident, which I did, all you do is come back here and re-highlight it. Okay. Now you're going to come up here. It doesn't matter which one you're in. You just want to make sure that you see that little black arrow. So right click, go down to column width, and we're going to change this to 0.25 and then click OK. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Again, if you happen to click on accident, you just come back up here and re-highlight everything. So again, doesn't matter which one you're in, just make sure you see the arrow, right click, go to row height, and then 0.25. So now everything is the same. Now we want to go back to normal view. Okay. And then we're just, I'm just going to click there. All right. So now we're going to put, um, love. I'll, I'm going to just, I'm just going to use the graph that I made. Okay. Um, th not that I made Diana made and Lynn helped make it too. So, um, we want to fill in the squares. So let's see, we're going to come up here to the paint can, click the down arrow, and then you could choose any color you want and see how it already highlights the square. So you can go any color. I'm just going to do red. Okay. And on my example, I just went down. Um, we did like nine, nine squares down and then four squares across and you can play around with it. So here it is. So here's one. Now you can click each one and do it, you know, singly by itself, but here's the faster way. So you're going to click the box and then you're going to go down, down, down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. And then click and then it highlights everything. Now we're going to go over four squares. So here's one, two, three, and four. Just like that. Is that nine? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. All right. So there's your L. Now I, in the love graph, we did one space in between the letters. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, this is just the, the graph that, um, Diana made with a little help from Lynn. So this is all we're doing. So highlight, click, click and hold, and then drag down and then click. Okay. And then I'm going to do the V like that. Now, if, and if you, have made your graph on the paper. So basically all you're going to be doing is just copying what you did on your paper. Okay. And then here's the L and once you kind of have started it, then you can kind of see, you know, where, where you need to be. So here's one, two, whoop, one, two, three, and four. And then here's the bottom of the E. And there we go. So there's love. So now let me show you what I did um, to get the little numbers and stuff on the side and on the bottom. So first we want to click. We want to make sure that we're clicked out of here. Okay. And then we want to make sure that we have no fill. Okay. So we're going to go here. It says no fill. Okay. So now 
let's go ahead and let's click up here and you can make this this square around here as big or as small as you want but this is I'm just showing you a little small section so you're gonna click here in the box and you're gonna hold it down and then you're gonna scroll over I'm gonna go to here and then you're just gonna go down okay so now that this is highlighted you're going to come up here and you're gonna see this where it says all borders and you're gonna click the down arrow and you're gonna click where it says all borders and it just created a border okay so you can kind of you can see that it's highlighted or you know it's got the little square around here okay so now the way I got the numbers to go up on the side here was I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna do one and then two and then you're gonna highlight both of them and you're gonna see this little square here in the corner and see how my cursor turned into like a black solid square as soon as you see that you're gonna click and then drag up and that's gonna make the numbers come in automatically and I just go to the top okay and the same thing down here okay I did the same exact thing now I'm gonna tell you guys how there was a question about how we um, got like the graph to be like in the middle of the beanie to you know so you have so it's even on both sides of your hat now the way that I did it was okay so for instance my my hat the pattern it had after I did the brim, I had 52 stitches around, okay? So I took that 52, and then I counted all the squares right from here to here, and it gave me 20. So I needed 20 stitches for this, okay? So I took the 52, and I minus 20, okay? So that left me with 32 stitches. So then... After that, I thought, okay, 32 stitches, 16 and 16. So you're going to start with 16 and then 16, and you're going to put your love right in the middle. So this is what I mean. So when you, when you get to row four of the beanie, that's when I started my graph. So then row 16 is going to be right here because row 17 is going to start your graph. I hope that makes sense. All right, so then I'm gonna go 15 and then 14. But again, I want to, you're gonna highlight this, click here and then drag, and then it numbers everything for you automatically. Okay, now I hope what I just said makes sense. I just, um, uh, like I said, I'm new to this. I have no idea like what everybody else is doing or how they're doing it but this just happened to work for me. And then again, I'm using chunky yarn for this graph, so that's why it worked. Um, you, If you follow my blog, I'm gonna attempt to make some other ones with the number four uh, worsted yarn. So um, be on the lookout for that, and hopefully I'll have some more tips and tricks. <laughs> so basically, this is all I did, all right? And then again, you can, if you're making patterns, you can, um, if you do this and you and you highlight everything and then you right click and I think you just hit copy if you have a word document open you just copy it and then you go to your word document and then you just paste it into your word document and then you that's how I made my pattern is I just copy and pasted this and put it in the word document and then made a PDF so anyways guys this is exactly what I did um, I hope that this was useful for those that are trying to make uh, graphs. If you have your graphs on paper and want to transfer them onto an Excel um, spreadsheet like this, um, this is exactly what I did. Now, if there's any of you that are watching and you have tips for us, please leave a comment. If you have questions, leave comments. Like I'm totally new to this graphing thing. So I would try to help you out as best as I can. If you are a part of our Facebook group, then a lot of tips and stuff have been shared there. If you're not a part of the Facebook group and would like to join us, I will leave the link down below. 
Um, again, I hope this was useful. And thanks for watching. And happy graphing, guys. Thank you. Bye.